let's talk about the micro SD card, right? So the micro SD card has been something that's really been um, uh, something of pride for Samsung uh, users, having that uh, option to be able to expand the memory on your device. This is now yeah. gone, goodbye. What, what are your thoughts on that? Okay, so personally, and we've had this conversation, I mean, personally for me, it's fine because I haven't used a, a micro SD card on any of my devices in the hmm. last three years. I can't find my last micro SD card that I use. So for me, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not that important anymore. Uh, I'm also hmm. one of those people, I don't actually use cloud backups, which is an option for a lot of people. Hmm. Every time I stop using the phone, I actually just dump it onto my computer and I have a server. And I, I, that's just my own routine. Uh, but there are many ways, plus storage sizes are much larger. And here's the most important thing that a lot of people will forget is the storage speed on your Galaxy device at UFS mm. 3.1 is, uh, I want to say 100 so times much. It's, it, it's so much faster than the Night and day. SD card. That you're using. So when yeah. trying to access information, uh, you know, it will look like your phone is slowing down for no reason. It's because storage is slower on the micro SD card compared yeah. to the internal storage. So which is why I don't think it's a big deal. But as you you just asked me that question, I thought about the last video I did, which is my I switched to the iPhone video. Um, <laughs> I had actually had a few comments people where people were like, you know what, I'm gonna stick to Android. Some some one guy actually specifically said I stick to my Galaxy because I have an SD card slot. I was like, uh So so it seems like okay for us, we're gonna we're gonna tell you again for me as well. I don't think I've not used an, an SD card in a smartphone for some time, right? Uh, one of the reasons being is that again the main reason being that that uh, slow transfer speed. Uh, you know if you go through your photo gallery on your, your your device, what's stored locally, it's so much smoother and so much quicker. As soon as you go into micro SD, there's gonna be that that little bit of lag, which I, which I don't like, right? Now, I think for me and you, that's fine. We don't mind um, not having the micro SD card support, but there are lots of people, and I'll give you another use case. So I know a lot of people who like to quickly just pop out the SD card and just drop it in, right? And I'm talking, you know, creatives who maybe do some sort of filmmaking, they may, maybe they're shooting in 8K. Transferring those files is still gonna take a long time, whether that's over USB type C cable or whether that's, you know, through some sort of uh, cloud backup. It's gonna be slow, right? And this is the thing. So having that a micro SD card does just give you that convenience of, I'm just gonna pop this out plug it in and then I've got it instantly, almost instantly on uh, my um, laptop, which I can then edit, right? So that's one of the things. But here's, here's, my, here's my sort of take on it. Samsung, I don't mind that you've not included the micro SD card, but I do feel that you should have started at 256 GB, right? Now I know it's not too much, expen too much more expensive to go for the 256 GB option on e any of the devices, but one thing that I loved about the Note 10 Plus, and E, I know you, uh, Zach as well, was still on the Note 10 Plus when you know we spoke a few months ago. We actually mm -hmm. switched back to the Note 10 Plus from my S20 Ultra just because the Note 10 Plus was such a good device. That came with a base of 256 gigabytes. And I think that made it very, very unique. And it made it, you know, like if, if somebody buys a new smartphone, an S21, okay, they're, they're, they're a little bit disappointed that there's no micro SD card but you've got 256 gigs as a base. I think that yeah. would have been a very good way, because I mean, it's not gonna cost that much for storage, but I think that would have been a very good way for Samsung to transition the lack of a micro SD card slot for a device that's had it for many, many generations. I hope you enjoyed that clip. If you want to hear the full podcast episode, then that will be linked down below. And if you wanna see more clips like this, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf Speaks, and I'll see you next time.